What's up, Internet? My name's Ori. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. You like this video, hit that like button, hit that notification bell. You'll never miss a video. You'll never miss a stream. Today, we're going over the challenge USA season number two, episode number four. It feels like we're farther into the season already. It's like it, we're getting these like double episodes a week. So like we're only two weeks in, but we have four episodes. It feels like we're going at a quicker pace, but it it's kind of not. It's just kind of the normal pace that the challenge kind of goes anyway. But nonetheless, uh, I'm having a lot of fun, especially with this episode. I really like this one. The pick up where we left off uh, with last episode, Paulie got taken out and I was I was kind of sad. I was like, wait, what? I'm upset that Paulie got taken out on a show. But yeah, I'm really excited to see Paulie uh, play again at some point. He's got this new uh, you know, page that he's turned in his, his life, a new chapter in his life where he's really kind of found, uh, a, a happier place, uh, for himself. And, uh, I'm excited to see where he goes because him focused is going to be a beast. Uh, and that left us with the decision because bananas being the winner of that elimination against Pauly could choose whether or not he wanted to stay on his red team which just seems to keep losing, or he could infiltrate another team and swap places with somebody. And in typical Bananas fashion, he's got to make the flashy move. He infiltrates, he takes Corey's spot over on Team Blue, switches with him, sends Corey over to Team Red. And <laughs> I feel, Dusty, can we, can we just put Dusty on, you know, just just a watch can can we just look out for him make sure he's okay because this poor guy he wrote bananas a letter just in case banana was eliminated he, he left him a letter i'm blown away Rel dustin relax Re relax dusty just <laughs> it's not that serious he's bananas even he's like i think we're in love he's just he we he, I'm his hero. He, he was going on last week about how much he just uh, admires Banana and he inspires him. It's it's really, it's really laying it on thick. The letter. He can wrote him a letter. Who does that? <laughs> uh, anyway, there wasn't much uh, as far as uh, really to talk about until we got to the Daily Challenge which was awesome. Uh, it was two trucks driving down the road. Uh, basically, you would have to swing back and forth, which, which they've done stuff like this before, right? Where you got to swing back and forth, kind of transfer something from each truck. Uh, in this case, they had uh, colored dots that were along the side and you had to like pendulum back and forth between the two transferring your color. The catch was another team would be going at the same time. And they could defend you from transferring your pieces. So this was a lot of fun uh, and uh, a really cool uh, back and forth. And, and what I really loved uh, about this was you get into that kind of moment where there's a little bit of strategy with the multi-team format. And you don't necessarily just have to win to keep yourself safe. If you know that a certain team winning benefits you but you're out of the running you can then help by making sure the other team does not win and we do get that situation here uh where uh the green team uh did not <laughs> they did not want the green team to win uh the 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 blue team was very dead set they're like listen if the green team wins especially tori she said if the green team wins i'm in trouble so we can't let the green team win. Let's help the red team win. So that's kind of what they do. They go into their last matchup with the intention of setting it up uh, for the red team to win. And they do. Uh, one other kind of funny note that happened kind of earlier before uh, they even ended up getting the win uh, was Corey just completely owning Chris Underwood. He <laughs> full on Chris... Chris even said it. he's like, I got poster eyes. Like he went up, went right. He's like, watch this. Whoop, boom, dunked right over his head. 
to get that dot uh, onto the uh, the other side of the truck. Um, now, green team, obviously, most of them were pretty upset. Monty was pretty pissed uh, that this all happened. Uh, but Wes, Wes is like, you know what? It's brilliant. I love it. You know why? I pretty much invented the move. It's my move. <laughs> It's my move, you guys. I just I let you do it. I let you do it, and I respect it. <laughs> uh, so that was pretty funny that he was just like taking the credit for the invention, which I think back in the day he did actually uh, kind of come up with that. He's like, yeah, why don't we just help them win? We can't win, but we can help them win. Um, but it seems like Wes, you shouldn't be happy about this because it's Wes's name and Amanda's name that is getting pushed hard as the ones who are going to be put into the elimination by the red team so ugh, that that's not good that's not good for Wes but there is a shining light for Wes and Amanda and that is Josh <laughs> Josh is willing to take a bullet he says I'm willing to fall on the sword to help save them I won't let my people go down. I will, I'll force a stalemate if I have to at the vote. And that's kind of what we get at the meeting. They right away say, listen, everybody on the blue team, they're off the table. We're not even going to consider them. Uh, so it's only the green team uh, that we're looking at with the girls. Uh, and uh, it's only uh, the, uh, the guys that we're looking at there as well. So like, all right, well, what are we going to do? And, you know, they're, they're kind of going back and forth and, and Josh is just so extra with his defense of Amanda going on about how, like, do you know, do you want to want to, uh, run a final against Desi? Do you want to run a final against Desi? Do you, uh, <laughs> do you want to do this? And he's screaming, he's yelling. Corey is just like, what, bananas. Why did you do this to me? I, I hate you, bananas. I hate you for sending me over here. Uh, and they, they really do find themselves in a bit of a deadlock. They then somehow get it to kind of turn here where they're like, wait a minute. Well, maybe we can get, get someone else in here. Maybe we can get it to Lewis and maybe we can get it to Desi. So that's kind of what happens because if Josh was going to a stalemate, it's historically known in the challenge that you don't want to do a stalemate. Most of the time, it ends up being you who has to go down into the elimination. Uh, so if they didn't vote somebody in, it might they might have said, okay, all of your names are now in uh, the machine. One of you will be headed in. So even though there was a much larger alliance with uh, Desi, uh, Michaela, Tiffany's in there, the Alyssa's, uh, Cassidy, uh, Chanel, oh, there's a lot of the girls that were in this alliance. They end up turning their back on it. Uh, Michelle and Tiffany both end up going into self-preservation mode because they're like, well, you know, Lewis did did say my name, so maybe I'll vote for him. And then, you know, I mean, I guess I don't have to vote for Desi. I could just throw my vote. And that's what they do. And it ends up being Desi and Lewis who are getting sent down into the elimination. Uh, they go into damage control mode very quickly because they're like, we didn't vote for you. It just happened to go that it went that way. But they didn't protect her either. And Desi realizes this. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see how this kind of develops, especially going forward now, because it seems like even though they had a good thing going, cracks are forming and the vets are kind of working their way into there. I say vets, but even Josh is like trying to be in with the vet. It's a whole thing. <laughs> but that then now takes us to uh, the next section where there was a funny little moment where uh, Desi says, you know, hey, when you're making your 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 picks on who you're going to put your balls in, you know, give me Cassidy. I, I want Cassidy. And she tells this to Amanda and Wes. Uh, but then we immediately see her kind of in the confessional being like, oh, yeah, I just don't trust them. I told everybody I already want Amanda. <laughs> Michaela decides to get a little fun and she throws a West vote in there just for just for the hell of it. She's like, you know, I, I don't want West gone, but I feel like he kind of got off, you know, 
really easy there by not having to go in. So let's throw his name in. <laughs> it is, though, also a double elimination. So it's not like what we've seen in the past where only one ball would get pulled and it could be either a guy's elimination or a woman's elimination. Uh, this one ended up being a, a double. So both of them will have to compete against somebody uh, down there. It was almost like a variation on a pole wrestle uh, in a way. They, they didn't start holding anything, uh, but there was a, a disc that was suspended in the air. Uh, basically, the idea was, hey, first one to go get that disc and bring it outside of the circle wins. How you do that is up to you. Uh, so lots of wrestling going on uh, in this one, and it, it's, those are always a fun time. Any good headbanging uh, elimination is always going to be good. Uh, for the guys, we ended up getting Chris, whose ball get pulled, uh, gets pulled out. It'll be him versus Lewis. It's a tough battle, uh, but in the end, Chris was just too much. Uh, Chris, he actually talked about how uh, he played uh, college football, and, and he really knows how to you know use his weight and kind of move himself around. Uh, and it was just too much for Lewis, even though they were trying to pump Lewis up. He's like, he's a firefighter. It's like, okay, yes, but it, does he know anything about, you know, <laughs> using his momentum? Can he can he get the other guy off his balance? Can he rip something out of somebody's hands? Uh, and Chris was just more uh, able to do that. It was a good battle. That was really tough. Uh, credit to Lewis. Uh, he just kind of ended up in a tough situation. Uh, we then ended up with. Uh, the women's uh, elimination where Desi was going to have to face somebody. And wouldn't you know, it ends up being Amanda whose ball gets pulled. She had overwhelmingly the largest amount of balls in there. And uh, Wes is kind of interested in this because he was told, hey, we're voting for Cassidy and Chris. Chris ended up going in, but Cassidy only got two votes. They were stacking it on Amanda, and he's now realized, he's like, oh, so they kind of just threw Cassidy under the bus there. Keep that in mind. Let me make a mental note of that. And I think this is going to be kind of their play going forward is try and continue to drive a wedge uh, between uh, these uh, newer players coming on in here thinking they can mess with the vets. Uh, but that does set up with Amanda versus Desi. And... I I don't want to say pure domination. Desi was going to win this elimination as soon as Amanda's name was pulled. Amanda held as long on as long as she could. She's real tough, but Desi's just too much stronger. Uh, and uh, yeah, Desi ends up moving on. We do then have to get, you know, the decision. Who will go to what team? Uh, will they stay? Will they go? Uh, and Chris ends up going right on back to the blue team. He's like, you know what? I feel good. I like where I am with the blue team. Desi, uh, meanwhile, she decides, you know what? I think I want to head on over to the blue team too. Alyssa S., why don't you head on over to the green team? I'll head on over to the blue team. And that's where we end with a little bit of a shuffle here. We've got uh, our new blue team with uh, Desi on there, as well as Bananas this episode added on in. The new look green team uh, down two players, but also with the addition of Alyssa after losing Desi uh, and then uh, the red team who now has Corey on there. Uh, so, yeah, this is how things are looking and it's, uh, it's getting interesting here. I think the next few weeks. We're really going to see the vets try and break that big alliance apart. Because uh, that's the one thing, as much as Josh was just very extra with keeping Amanda and Wes out of uh, the elimination, it was the right play. That alliance was so big and they were going to control the vote and just knock them off one by one. So by him standing his ground there and forcing it to not be them and have to go somewhere else and getting Tiffany and uh, Michelle to fold and go into that self-preservation mode, it really let them have uh, that chance to have that, that fighting shot. Uh, now, it's also going to be interesting here because, again, Tiffany not just looking out for the alliance. I love to see it because that was one thing I always really wish we got to see with Tiffany on Big Brother 
when she was on Big Brother 23, she was in the cookout. She really kind of threw her own game away for the advancement of the cookout. She could have taken shots at them, may have had a better chance to win the game in the end if she made some different decisions. But in the end, she stuck with the cookout, was loyal, ended up not coming in uh, in a good position. It ended up being very much on the bottom of that alliance at the end of the day. Uh, so, yeah, it's good to see her looking out for herself. But here in this moment, it may cause more rifts and even split that side of the house up uh, and uh, make things uh, a lot harder. Uh, for for that alliance going forward but what do you guys think did you like this episode i had a lot of fun with it uh i thought it was a really good one i liked both of the challenges and then there's lots of drama and lots of new uh intrigue with the game going on and i'm interested to see what happens moving forward uh let me know in the comments down below what you thought again uh, if you are new here hit that subscribe button you like this video hit that like button hit that notification bell you'll never miss a video you'll never miss a stream Oh, also, if you are a fan of Survivor, I took part in this really cool uh, video project uh, with a, a really great YouTuber named Bandit. I'm going to link to that in the description down below, pinned comment as well. Uh, it's me and nine other YouTubers as we make this uh, big, giant, second chance Survivor uh, season. Uh, so go check that out. There's a lot of names in there that you're going to recognize uh, if you're a fan of Survivor on YouTube. Uh, and uh, yeah, it was really cool. So go check that out. Um, thank you guys again so much for watching. And I will see you next time.